Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. This is your first time stopping by. I hope you decide to like and subscribe. We'll be taking our devotions from Brenda Kuhneman's book, The Daily Prophecy. Love this book. Best birthday gift ever. Um, today is Wednesday, September the 1st. And happy birthday to my sweet girl, Sarah, and my son-in-law, Brian. Happy birthday, guys. I hope you feel truly celebrated today. Our devotion today is entitled, Have Confidence. Let's hear a prophetic word. Immerse yourself in the promises of my word, says the Lord, for they will build your knowledge and settle your faith. Then you shall have confidence that I always answer when you make requests. God is faithful and he cannot lie. Our scripture comes from 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. That means we're going to get what we ask for, if it's his will. And God can't lie. Hebrews 6, 18. It's impossible for God to lie. Remember that. It's impossible for God to lie. If he said it, he will do it. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. God's word is his sovereign promise to you. And everything he says in his word is what he will do. His word will build confidence in you. However, if you don't spend time in God's word, you simply will not have confidence in how God will respond to you, especially in difficult situations. I'm going to pause right there. Many people gripped by fear, worry, concern over finances, over what's happening in our country, over these other things that are going on in their life. I can guarantee you they aren't reading one word of the Bible, which is God's word. But that's where we build our confidence. That's how our faith is built up. Many, many people will wind up retreating instead of engaging in difficult times. How many times? Let's just think. How many times has things been, you've been beep bopping along in your faith in God, everything seems to be going great, and then all of a sudden, wham, bam, there you are facing some huge unexpected financial expense, whether it's a huge tax bill, whether it's a, a major appliance or a car broke down and has to be replaced and you don't have the money for it. Where's it going to come from? Something unexpected happened. Illness hits. You know, you get an unexpected, terrible diagnosis. You fall apart. God's failed me. That's it. You know, let's be honest. You retreat, lean on your own understanding, mad at God because you're dealing with something you didn't expect mad, 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 because nobody ever wants a problem in life. And because you haven't a problem, somehow God's failed you or God doesn't exist. Literally, that's where people, they go instead of standing firm on his word. Okay, it does rain on the just and the unjust. So things happen to everybody. It doesn't mean God doesn't exist or that he's mad at you or that you're being punished for some sin that you're not aware of. And God is just this vengeful. He's a loving God and he's faithful to his word. He said he would provide. He said that he would heal. He said that he would lead you. I mean, all those things are true. And if you're not reading God's word and you don't believe his word because faith comes by hearing if you're not hearing the word, if there's never an opportunity for anything to go into your soul and spirit, you're not feeding it anything of faith. You don't attend church regularly. You don't listen to worship music. You don't do those things. So there's nothing of faith being poured into you. There's nothing for your spirit to grab hold of in times of difficulty. So it is important to get God's word into you. If you struggle with that, ask the Lord to give you a hunger for that word. That is a tactic of the devil to keep us from God's word because he knows our strength and our confidence will be built up with the word of God. And he doesn't want us to be in a strong place. He wants us to be weak and vulnerable so he can overtake us. Anyway, I could go on forever and ever. Let's hear how Brenda continues. You may have a mental understanding, but that isn't confidence. 
Confidence is the absolute belief that comes because you have spent devoted time in his word. You become assured and confident at what you spend uh, at what you spend time doing. So by spending time in the Bible, you become confident of the promises written inside. Many Christians simply don't spend enough time delving deeply into God's word. They read a few verses in the morning before work, but that's about it. They don't make a constant focus on God's word to the point where it builds confidence in them that God will do what is written. Immerse yourself in God's word and let it build a confidence of faith in you so that when you pray, you know the Lord has heard you and you will receive the answer. I don't want anyone to feel that there's condemnation in any part of this. Okay. Because maybe you're hearing this because God is triggering you and encouraging you to come deeper. He's all about love and wants us to choose him, to choose to read his word, because he's provided everything that we need to overcome the devil. Even in Ephesians and Corinthians, it talks about the armor, it talks about the weapons of our warfare. He's given us everything that we need to take our stand against the devil's schemes. You can do it. And it's not something you do yourself. The Holy Spirit does it through you. And you learn of God's nature through his word. That's what builds up the confidence. Because you know God cannot lie. He just cannot lie. I don't understand his timing on everything, but I know that I can trust him because he can't lie. I hope that's encouraging to you. Let's pray the prayer today. Lord, I commit to spend more time in your word. I know that I need to do this too. It's not just you. It's me too. I know that everything you have said in your word is what you will do. I believe it. And I thank you that your word will cause me to have confidence today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you this first day of September. We are weeks away from the fall. <laughs> I cannot wait. Fall can't get here fast enough. Thank you again for spending a little time with me today. I hope you decide to like and subscribe. God bless you until next time.